Hi, welcome to Three Things Thursday with Robert Hertel. So today, I want to have a little bit of a heart-to-heart -heart reality check in regards to real estate agents. Okay, so what do I mean by that? I mean that we work in an absolutely sadistic industry. Okay, we do, we do, okay, trust me on this. I know you're thinking, Robert, well, what do you mean? What do you mean we work in a sadistic industry? We're selling the American dream of home ownership. That's not sadistic, that's fantastic. And I get it, we are, and that is really great. But did you know, if you think about it, real estate agents have the ability to profit the most when people are at their lowest point. You don't believe me? Well, that's what we're gonna go over today in our Three Things Thursday, is three ways that real estate agents profit the most when people are at the lowest. Now here's the thing, I wanna put a disclaimer out there. The goal of this video is not to poke fun at those that are in really turbulent times and some that we're gonna go over today, okay? That's not, what people are going through are serious life events, and I'm not here to poke fun at that. What I'm here is just bring awareness to real estate agents in regards to when people are at their lowest, we have an opportunity to profit, but we have to accept that, that we can profit when people are at the lowest. We have to know how to approach that when people are at the lowest, and we have to have the right mindset of, well, that's not moral in my book, or that's not ethical in my book to try to profit when somebody's going through this type of situation, okay? The reality is somebody's going to profit from it, okay? What we go over today, it might as well be you. It might as well be you. We have to get that mindset going. So while we are gonna have a little bit of fun with this because that's you know what most of my videos are about, I'm not trying to poke fun at people in this situation, okay? I just wanna make sure we're clear on that. I'm just bringing awareness to the fact, all right? And as real estate agents, we're always looking for additional resources of leads. We have expired for sale by owners, past clients, centers of influence. We have these people, this people, always looking for more. You should have five or six. These three that we're gonna go over today could potentially be those of them, but we have to get past the moral side of, I don't wanna profit when people are at their lowest because somebody's going to, all right? So let's get into it. Three ways that real estate agents can profit when people are at the lowest. All right, number one is this, foreclosure. Homes are still going into foreclosure, all right? Now, the foreclosure might be differently than before because it's not that people are just walking away from their homes because they're underwater. Typically, in most markets, people have kind of rebounded and they have some equity in the homes. Foreclosure now is just people can't afford it. The foreclosures now, people can't afford their payments. They've lost their job, or they've had a decrease in their income, or whatever the case may be, they're going to foreclosure. They have to sell their home if they're going into this foreclosure stage, because if they don't, the bank's going to take it, the bank's going to sell it, and they're not going to get anything. They're going to be left on the street with nothing. So they have to sell. So you have to approach them. You have to approach them as a real estate agent with the intentions of letting them know what the foreclosure process is. Now, there's certain programs out there that allow them to keep their home. So maybe you can approach them as a resource saying, let's see if we can qualify you to keep your home. But if you can't, I can help you sell this home, make it a very easy process, and be able to get some profit from this home as opposed to being left with nothing. Okay? So you have to be able to approach that. But that is a great source of business. Homes that are in default, homes that are in pre-foreclosure. They're about to lose everything. And you can profit from it. All right, so foreclosures are a great source of business realistically for real estate agents. Okay, so that's number one. Number two is this. And this is sad, I get it, but I'm just making awareness, is death. Somebody dies. Most of the time, if somebody dies, the people that are left to inherit the property, whether it be a spouse, kids, whatever the case may be, can't afford to keep the home. That's in most cases. Maybe there's a mortgage, there's property taxes, all these other different things they can't afford to do it. So they typically have to sell the home. Who helps sell homes? Real estate agents do. That's where you can come in. So you might want to work with, say, a probate attorney or something along those lines. I'm not saying you should chase ambulances. Don't do that. That may, eh, we're taking a little step, step too far, chasing ambulances or at hospitals, just, you know, did they pass away yet? No, that's not the way to go. But no attorneys that are probate attorneys, okay, and things along those lines, because if somebody passes away and the family needs to sell the home, they, 
They have no choice. They have to sell it. They're going to hire a real estate agent to do that. Be that real estate agent. Profit from it. Okay? It's a sad situation, but you have the opportunity to profit from it. That could be another source of business. And number three is this. Divorce. Again, a very sad situation. It's, nobody likes getting divorced. Well, maybe some people like getting divorced. That's, that's a whole different topic. Not everybody likes getting divorced, but half of marriages now end in divorce. Okay? So a very sad situation. But you know what happens as a real estate agent when somebody gets divorced? Check this out. Okay? They get divorced. Typically, they have to sell the home to split the assets. There's a sale for it. You get to list the home. Now they've gone their separate ways. Now they each need to buy their own separate home. I can help you buy a home and now I can help you buy a home. You just got three deals. You got three deals off of one divorce. As a real estate agent, divorces are your best friend. Your best referral source should be a divorce attorney because they can get you three potential deals just by doing that. So again, people at the lowest, they're going through hell in this divorce procedure and you're just sitting there counting checks. So think about that, right? Divorce, great, great asset for real estate agents. Now again, I'm not trying to poke fun at any of these situations. Foreclosure, death, divorce, they're all really bad. All really bad. I hope foreclosure and divorce never happen to me. Death is going to happen to me, but I hope it doesn't happen to me for a very long time, okay? So I don't want to poke fun at this, but I'm just bringing you awareness. For real estate agents, these are three very profitable opportunities for you that if you work them right, can get you a lot of business. And again, proves the point that we live in a very sadistic industry. When people are at the worst, we profit the most. All right, so just be aware of that. Work on that. Work on how to approach that because you don't want to be brash and abrasive when you're contacting these people and these problems. So know how to do it, know how to approach it, find referral sources to help you out with that, probate attorneys, divorce attorneys, so on and so forth, and go after that business. You can actually make a profit from it. All right? If you have any more, send them my way. I'd love to hear other ways where we profit the most when people are at their worst. But those three could really help you increase your business. That's your three things Thursday for the week. Please subscribe to my channel so you can get more of these great videos, great coaching tips. I hope you have a great week and I look forward to speaking to you again next week.